Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting 282. Last day of April, right? Last day of April? I think it's last day of April. I don't think it's tomorrow. Nope, tomorrow's May. May Day. Woohoo! Uh, this meeting is recorded for those of you that are with us right here, right today, right now, today, and the last day of April. Wow, I can talk. This will be a fun meeting. It'll also be pretty short, I think. Um, and I do say that um, pretty confidently. Uh, if you're here, go ahead and say, say hi. Uh, Ron Martin, Ron. Bert and Zach are here. I read Ron's full name right here in front of me. Um, we were chatting about virtual desktops and screens and all kinds of good stuff like that. Let's go jump into issue triage and then we'll take questions, comments, and things like that because we don't have really anything else to talk about. It's nice. Wix 6 is open and underway. Let's go talk about uh, issues and things that uh, people have been opening in our direction. Uh, Bob, you ready? Uh, yeah, let's go. All right. Triage. Woohoo! Um, we'll start at the top, 8142, burn extract, extracts, name, bundle contents without names when out BA is not specified. Yeah, it probably picks the names of whatever's inside the burn name. Yeah, A0, A1, A2, A3. And someone so wants to extract the BA, there's yeah. no manifest to give real names. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, cool. Someone can fix that. Do you recall nice. why we separated them out? Separate in Wix3, the... Dark would extract both the UX container and the attached container. I do not know. Two switches. And... I do not know why there are two switches. Okay. Because that's an alternative. Yeah, it uh, could squish into back, one command. I... Extract both. I don't know why. Well, I guess you could get the BA without getting the attached container. I don't know why. Well, I think the, the again, needing the manifest to get good names for the attached container kind of means you should always extract it then, right? Yeah, I don't know why there are separate switches, what the advantage of that is, other than it it might be like, oh, well, this is the way it works internally, so we'll expose that externally because it's the difference between the BA container and the attached container um, kind of thing. But I don't know. <laughs> Could just be out and just dump them both out in the folder, like something or other. Um, yeah, well, but, it's going to be, I mean, Wix 6 will have the same problem with non cab containers. Yeah. So need the manifest to get the names. So. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Someone could totally go make a proposal for how to fix this and can go pick it up. Um there are options here. Right? Uh all right, cool. Up for grabs and we can pick it up. Wouldn't even be that hard. It's a nice isolated little thing. Um, 8144, standard bootstrapper options page moves focus to install location field every time a checks box is, box is toggled. It's gonna be a long day if I can't speak. Um, yeah, that's kind of cute. I haven't tried this, but it sounds... Yeah, I, I took a look. It seems to be a change in theme at all that I can't mm. explain. Okay. Um, so cool. It's, it's weird. It's not great. I'm... I'm mildly interested in fixing this it's up to you unless someone else wants to jump on it first i'm not this is like yeah focus in native code i'll pass for now yeah right. okay you're right i want to focus on native code i'm already focusing on native code all right bob's gonna take it Woohoo! all right he's gonna look at it anyway uh eight one four eight wix four fails to convert a file element with only an ID attribute. I totally forgot this is possible. Um, but yeah, it's possible. Um, it'd be great if conversion handled that case. So if someone wants to pick it up, they could. But yeah, all right. Yeah, should be pretty straightforward. I think you just add a source on the end. Yeah, just add a source. That's the way to do it. Yeah. I know it says file name, but File source would probably well, be clearer. That, that also case. worked in Wix3. There yeah. were a lot of things you could do. Right, yeah. But I think probably the best thing to do would be at the source. That's generally clearer. It's just generally the place we've landed. We probably should spit out... We should order these. Because I think if you we There's another order. Like, sometimes when you need file source, we could put out the errors in better order. But whatever. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, all right. Yep, cool. That would be easy. So let's pick that up. Very simple kind of thing to fix. 
Um, 8155, ball extension shows damage to Wix 5 from the command line. Um, and yeah, this one's interesting because the ball Wix extension is is kept around for backwards compatibility. Um, we don't have a way of marking them deprecated, although that would be cool if we did, but we don't. Um, anyway, so if you install this from the command line and you try to use it, it doesn't work. It does work within the um, uh, inside MS build, which is the primary use case um, for it. So anyway, the it's an alias and the aliasing doesn't work perfectly when using it from the command line due to limitations in the way the command line works that are work better when you use it from Wix projects. So Wix projects, everything's fine. From the command line, it doesn't. Um, and I went and updated the documentation to make it clearer because this person says, I was, you know, hey, we could add that to the documentation. I'm like, yeah, sure, we could do that. So I updated the documentation and I think that's where we're gonna be for this one. So I think we could just tag this doc, you can give it to me and then it's closed. So we're good to go. We will be getting rid of Wix toolset bollocks Wix extension. Um, need to be a little bit more declarative about that, announce that, so um, when we do that. But it will go away eventually. Because it's a better name. It's called Wix toolset bootstrap applications dot Wix extension, which better describes what it is other than ball, which means bootstrap application layer. Something like that. Anyway. That was library. Library? Uh, I th yeah, I think it went back and that forth. Doesn't, that doesn't work for ball U. Uh, it works for ball util, but not for ball extension. Right. Okay. Anyway, it's a bad name. We made a, made a better name in five, and we have updated the documentation to make it a little more clear about that better name. All right. 8157, the V6 failed on VS 2022. Yep. They got this from Fire Giant. They should go open this issue against Fire Giant because Fire Giant owns Heatwave for that. But if you look at the log file, uh, you will see that it tells you that um, Visual Studio 17.4, you need 17.8, basically. You need a later long-term servicing than that. So, you know, there's no bug here. They just need to upgrade their Visual Studio. And they complain about not wanting to upgrade their Visual Studio, which I appreciate, but that's not a problem for Wix or any of that kind of stuff. So, anyway, this is not a bug. This is not our bug in Wix, and uh, we can go ahead and close that out as, I guess external probably is better. Yeah, name. yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So, and probably something in the template to be like, if you have a problem in the heat wave, it's, the wording of that's gonna be hard, so everybody's gonna be like, well, I used the heat wave to do the thing, yeah. and we're getting all these Wix bugs, and I was like, ah, so, all right. We'll just have to deal with when they get duplicated across, it happens, but not too often. But yeah. V6 failures in Visual Studio are a bummer because they have a really terrible experience and um, we can't improve it. And being set up people at Fire Giant, I can tell you that that is massively frustrating to not be able to do anything in your installation space to make it better. But yeah, that's V6. All kinds of sadness there. Cool. That one will go away shortly. Um, I wanna have a quick question while we're staring at this um, to see what people think. We have a whole bunch of issues um, in milestones like V3X. Oh, nope, hey, that one's gone, that's good. Um, V4X has a lot of stuff. Wait, do we? Label, label. Oh, I do milestones, aren't I? Whatever, uh, clear the milestone and label. Label, no, not label. It's milestone, is it? Label triage. Oh, I have triage still on, thank you. Label, tri unlabeled, whatever, any label, that's what I want, 3X. There we go, there we go, got it. All right, so we have a gazillion bugs in 3X, and then we have, that's 400 plus, and then we have 150, 145 in 4X. Um, do we want to triage these like at all? Cause essentially we need to just like bulk move these all to up for grabs and then start that whole up for grabs available, close, close them saying, hey, if you want this to reopen this, pick it up, you can. That whole process that we talked about, I don't know, several meetings ago. Um, do we want to go through these at all and see if there's things we should pull out? Or is that just something that's like, yeah, you know, if you want to go look at it, you can go look at it. That's why they're marked up for grabs. Um, a bunch of these are probably fixed too. Like just look at this one, allow dynamic values for yes, no. 
I think this is fixed because we've made the XSD a little bit more flexible. Um, or we've done more work in the XSD to make it flexible. Anyway, um, any opinions? Do people think it'd be value in us going through these bugs? Or maybe just one of the milestones, like just four, not three? Um, any opinions? I do a very, very quick title only. Not much more than title triage. But I, I think you're right. There are a lot of issues that are already fixed or that no longer apply. Mm -hmm. And and some we can just, you know. Um, yeah, like like MSP supports PID title, shows incorrect info. I don't know. <laughs> like I haven't looked in so long. That would sure. have to go quick. Like, yeah, I don't know. Move on. Um, yeah, light.exe. Probably can move that out of out of date. Um, so yeah, exactly. So I, I think there would be some value in that. Just because some we can immediately close. Um, there are probably others that we can also, uh, if not close, well, we can close them. Things we, this goes back to remember back when we had the, the, the label meh. Yes. I think this is one where we can say, meh, up for grabs, close. Right. There's no reason to keep those open. Yeah. All right. All right. So Bob thinks it'll be fun to go through many of these. Bugs. I never said fun. I never <laughs> said fun. Um, but yeah, we could go through and probably work our way through a bunch of these. Name properties on assigned to edit field. I don't even know. Uh, okay. I wonder how fast we can go. I guess we'll have to try to figure that out. Um, yeah, I'd also say that there's no there's no rush. That too. You're right. We could like, depending on the meeting, take a little bit of time and then yeah. Okay, hey, you know what? Let's go pick up a set of four. So I would presume we should start with four, or well, we can either start with four with the likelihood that they're more useful, or we can start oh. with three being more likely that they are less like more dead. Right. Um. Yeah, that's tough. Let's do both. <laughs> no, I mean we. I, I kind of. I mean, I, we could do four X and get rid of it faster because there's only a forty-five. In yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, let's get go get a win. Checking off <laughs> exactly. Off list. Right, right. Um. All right. Cool. All right. We'll probably put that in in a queue of things to do in Wix meetings when they're you know not too long. So going back on that note and about not too long meetings and all that kind of stuff, we're going to move the Wix meetings to monthly um, because just the amount of stuff going on and time to spend and uh, the amount of things that we're covering here. Anyway, uh, I think monthly meetings will be just fine. Um, I didn't put it on the slide, uh, but I should have. This slide should say, uh, look at it, third Tuesday of the month. The idea being that uh, the second Tuesday is Microsoft Patch Tuesday, so people might be busy on that day, especially in the setup world and deployment world, so let's not do it on the day that Microsoft has a thing. Um, and uh, the first Tuesday means that sometimes it could end up being the first day of the month, which would probably throw off all of my scheduling. <laughs> And everything. So the third Tuesday will always be, you know, in the month after Patch Tuesday, and uh, should be generally not a terribly exciting day. So we can go monthly, which would make the next meeting May twenty first, twenty twenty four, which is three weeks from this, three weeks from this today, and then it will roll into you know every four weeks kind of thing. Um, so May and then June would be, uh, do this one, two, three, four. Yeah. The 18th of June. So it'll be in that, you know, 18 to 22, uh, day of the month kind of range ish as we kind of go along. Um, and then we'll do, you know, same things that we do here, just not every other week. 
given the amount of uh, content that we're pushing through. So uh, no other change, be same meeting, just less often. I will continue to send them to Wix, uh, discuss, or, yeah, the discussions, I'll pin them there. And if you subscribe on YouTube, you'll get the meeting announce or subscription thing from YouTube automatically and all that kind of good stuff. So uh, update your calendar. And if you have a calendar that says every two weeks, update that to be every four weeks, the third, or just update it to be the third Tuesday of every month. Yeah, That's the easiest yeah. way to do it. It's a little, a little trickier. It is a little trickier. Yeah, but every major calendar thing should support I third day of month, or sorry, nth day of month kind of thing. Or anyway, nth day of week of month. Ugh. So glad I don't work on calendaring software. All right, so we're going to go monthly. Any other questions, comments, things going on out there? Uh, not a whole lot to triage, which is kind of expected given where we're at. Um, people can start picking up things out of up for grabs. Or if you want to go jump in 4X or 3X, and you're like, oh, this I've, I always wanted to work on this. You can basically consider those up for grabs at this point in time. Um, and I, I keep saying this. At some point in time, I will sit down and we'll do a big, huge mass update of all the issues to get them all like squared away. Um, Cause I don't think we're gonna, well, it depends on how we're going through them in the monthly triage as well. Um, but uh, so there might be a day or something when you get lots and lots and lots of notifications if you're following the issue tracker on Wix tool set and you just be like, all right, take all that mail and shove it in the corner because it was just marking everything up for grabs and putting them in the right milestones and all that kind of good stuff. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna have to be more careful with my math now. I have to count to four instead of just looking, skipping one week. Um, but fill in time, if you have anything else, things people wanna talk about, but as I said, the next meeting is the 21st, plenty of time to save up your questions and comments and things like that you want to talk about. Um, but this will be the same time. So 9.30 Pacific time, May 21st. And that's all I have. Pretty quiet otherwise out there. Everybody's like, all right, cool. Yep, easy triage. Nothing really uh, exciting or scary or otherwise. Uh, controversial that was the word i was looking for and that oh jacob said he did try to get back into the code base for is cert. great yeah there, you have time there's a there's more than a few months left to get things done in Wix six oh hit some roadblocks all right might be good things to discuss on discussions in the wix devs area or whatnot um unless you have a quick question here but honestly i'll have to load context i haven't looked at the is stuff in a long time myself so i'm not sure i could provide if if it's not general <laughs> concepts to be like specifically about is be like oh yeah i don't know about that uh all right cool cool any thoughts about building a wix lib against multiple versions of the sdk you mean the wix sdk supporting wix libs across multiple versions of wix um, if so, yes, that would be a cool thing. It requires us to be confident that we have the format correct and we're not quite there yet. Um, we've been the, I've been focusing m most of my mental energy on the language. So getting the source code to be compatible, like how close are we on the language that we can keep doing kind of what we've been doing. Um, where we add features and change things around, but we don't break anything, even though we, you know, with even with the firewall stuff, a little bit broke. So that's where I've been putting most of the brain power. But yeah, getting Wix libs to have a standard or a stable ABI will be an interesting thing, but we're not there yet. Um, but there would be a lot of benefits if we get there. Just it's not the highest priority thing. Um, you could also take it up a level. You, could, you might be able to have one. NuGet package, say, that supported multiple versions of Wix. That absolutely is supported today. Oh, well, you could do that it, today. Well, it wouldn't be one. It wouldn't be one library. No, it'd be multiple Wix libs yep. inside one NuGet package. You because I mean, you could do that the switching inside NuGet package. Same way you can build multiple extensions inside one 
NuGet package. The, we designed the extension format to support exactly that scenario. Um, so that's supported today. Uh, but a single Wix lib that supports multiple versions of Wix, we are not there yet. Um, but it's it's a you know it's definitely a thing to to aspire to. Just have to know that we've got it right, and I don't know that we have it right yet um, to do that. But it's definitely an aspirational goal. Actually, the NuGet package, I mean, as much as I dislike NuGet as a you know, perfect concept, the, the fact that it's wired in with the props and targets files means you have a lot of flexibility in what you can do there. Yeah, you could hack around a lot of problems. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was trying to be a bit more. Well, I mean, yeah. you it, can it do work hacking. in your build system to make it work. I don't know if it's a hack. I mean, it's you can adapt to more complicated situations. And we just have to be like, yeah, we're never going to change the Wix lib um, format. And you're like, great. So did you get everything you need in it? I'm like, uh, for example, I know we're missing a feature right now for on IDs because IDs, is, we need to have the ability to reference symbols without an ID. So, I mean, we, we took a shot at it. I think at a point when we was forward, it just didn't quite work. Um, being able to have um, IDs that, were, that, that weren't named, right? But still be able to reference symbols doing that. And it just, we need to solve that problem. And that would change the Wixlib format because it would need to be stored inside the Wixlib format for da, da, da. So it's like one of those things that have to go tackle that problem. Um, or that's one that I know of that's out there to tackle. Um, that would update the Wixlib format. So uh, right now the Wixlibs represent symbols as deconstructed JSON, right? So correct. That they're they're right now a version specific in that we felt free to change around symbols because they're purely internal, quote unquote, but they're stored. Yeah, yeah. We have a lot in place to do it. We just have to finish the uh, the work and then sit and think and go, okay, forward, backwards compatibility, what does that mean? I mean, we didn't get extensions right the first time and we weren't even trying to be backwards compatible and we didn't get that right. So it, it's not easy problem and people would be like, yeah, just do it. And I'm like, yeah, okay, sure. Magic wand, ta-da, we're done. Nope, none of it's like that. So anyway, um, it's also just not the highest priority thing yet. So we'll, we'll get there. All right. I do believe there will be a time where Wix of format finally stabilizes and we will have these things sorted out. That certainly is an aspirational thing. I think I could put it that way. But it's not gonna be uh not gonna be simple to just do that. So anyway. All right. All right, cool. Here we are, I think. 25 minutes, 9.59 at my clock, which means it'll be 10 here shortly. Uh, come back in a month, we'll do the triage thing. We'll talk about anything going on. Don't know that there's gonna be anything major going on um, in May, other than, you know, we'll go and look at all the triage things and all that kind of good stuff. And that's all I have. Bob, anything else? I am set. All right, cool. Well, then we will be back in Four weeks, I almost said two, in four weeks. Uh, four weeks, we will be back on the third Tuesday of May, May 21st. I hope I've said that enough time that everybody gets to the end of this meeting and goes, right, a month from now, I will update my calendar. Don't show up in two weeks, we won't be here. All right, till then, you guys take it easy. Bye. Bye.